we have selected this clear game object and then inspector window we have added a rigid body component we have added rigid body component and there are different properties like mass drag angular drag gravity is kinematic so these properties explanation is available on internet so that is unity 3d manual is available on internet so if you click on question mark here on any component uh, then you will get this page on web browser so see here all the properties description is given here like mass what is mass then drag angular drag so if you want some detailed information about any property you can click on question mark there okay so we'll just uh, short we'll have description about this some uh, properties of rigid body so see here mass mass uh, means what is the weight weight not weight but uh, if uh, mass is more then uh, your uh, this sphere will fall quickly if gravity is there and mass is more then it will fall quickly and if mass is less then it will fall down little slower uh, if you know some physics uh, then mass is nothing but your uh, how quickly is it is falling down if gravity is there okay then drag drag means uh, if you are moving your sphere or any uh, cube from one place to another like uh, if it is moving so how much resistance of air or how much resistance friction is there that is your drag from one position to another position okay another property is angular drag angular drag uh, you can keep all these properties by default whatever it is or if you want to change then you can change also okay uh, so drag means if you are moving your game object from one place to another place then some resistance will be offered like air resistance or some friction will be there so that is given by this drag property another property is angular drag means if you are rotating the sphere along its axis on any axis like x axis y axis or z axis if you are rotating sphere on any axis then the resistance offered that will be angular drag okay then use gravity like if you click on use gravity then if sphere is in air then it will fall and if you uh, unclick this use gravity then gravity will not be there and your sphere will be there in air as it is okay so gravity means ha it will fall down and if uh, gravity is not there then it means it will float on the in the air wherever it is then is kinematic so is kinematic if it is split then uh is kinematic is split then this sphere will be static it cannot be moved by another game object okay we will not discuss many properties we will discuss some important properties only so these are the some properties like mass drag angular drag use gravity and is kinematic is kinematic means uh, if other game objects is colliding with this sphere if other game object is colliding with this sphere then they will not exert force on this sphere means this sphere will be unmoved but we can move this sphere by using transform values like x y z values we can move by editing these values but if the mother game object is there and if it is colliding with this sphere then sphere will not get affected that is for if is kinematic is true or click then constraint is there constraint means uh, if we want this sphere to be position of this sphere should be freeze 
then you have to click this x y z and if you want rotation to be free then this lower x y z you have to click what it does like if like if you are clicking on the position so this position will be freeze means if any game uh, game object is colliding with this sphere then its position will not be changed now if i remove this x position like we unclick this x so y z it will be freeze in y z axis difference between freeze position and uh, okay. uh, kinematic ha huh. kinetic kinematic and uh, freeze position uh we can like this position means if three are click three are clicked and this also click this is equal to is kinematic okay, okay. but uh if is kinematic is disabled is kinematic is disabled and uh this this will be also equal to is kinematic now we can vary this constraint here like uh, you can only keep click x and rest of the things you can keep click now what it, it will do like uh, x is click for free uh, free position y is on click and z is on click so what it will do x position it will uh, on x axis it will not move it will not move on x axis it will move on y and z direction only so it can move like this vertical and downward it can move on z axis z axis is blue so it can move like this but it cannot be moved like this means it will move in y z plane only and it will not move in on x axis on x axis position is free so okay, that is the difference so so this is all about rigid body and more description is there on manual also now we'll see how it works now we have attached this rigid body and we make is kinematic unclick and this free position also is keep unclick okay means default position default condition constraint is unclick free position and free rotation now what we will do we will play here so we will see what happens to this sphere It is not falling. I think we have to give some gravity. We have not given gravity. That's why it is not falling. See here, you have to give gravity. Then only it will fall from the current position. See here, it is falling. You can see it here also. Uh, it has fallen actually. Okay, so uh, if rigid body is attached and gravity is there, then from the current position, if it is in the air, then it will fall down. Now, if we add some plane below this sphere, okay, like a uh, uh, what do you call? It? soil okay so what we'll do we'll add one plane here we will right click in hierarchy then cd object and let us take plane okay 
So it is not looking like that, but if you move like this, it will look, then it will look like this. Okay. So you have added plane. Vertical is y axis, uh, red is x axis, and that blue is z axis. How we can move this? By clicking right, like, uh, right button of your mouse. By keeping keeping right button of your mouse clicked, and then uh, moving your mouse. So here, how it is doing? Like you will keeping your right button of your mouse clicked, and move your mouse, then you can do like this. Then uh, rotate your team view. Whatever direction you want, you can give it. Okay. Now uh, we'll have some uh, color to this sphere. Where, where is sphere? Sphere is here. Where is plane? I think plane. You have to reset the value. Reset it to here. Here is the also here. So what we will do? We will make this sphere uh, floating somewhere here like this. So we will move the position of this sphere like this above. Let us change the color of sphere also. Make it default material is there. So we will add material, new material here. So you see the red. Okay, now what we'll do, we'll play here. So it should, after falling down, it should be on the, uh, this plane, on this plane. We'll check here. We'll play this. So see here, it is here. Now it is not looking properly, but if you see in team view, it will be like this. It is on the floor, like on the plane. Uh, you can see it by using some other angle. Like uh, if you change the angle of this main camera. See here, in game view, you are uh, able to see only sphere. sphere. And you are not able to see plane. Why? Because it is like a main camera is a plane axis, plane, whatever plane you have added, that is totally perpendicular to this uh, main camera. So what, how you can see that? You can see that by changing the main camera by position. This you have uh, selected main camera here. You have selected main camera and we are changing the Y position, like we are making Y value of main camera little higher. So we can see the plane from top view, like that. Okay, we are making, we can make it again higher like this. Okay, and we save this. We will make this here somewhat again at higher position here. And we we'll play. So now it should fall down because it is having rigid body and also it is having gravity. See here it has fallen down and it is on the plane. Okay. So this is all about rigid body. This is all about rigid body. So we can attach this rigid body to a sphere, any game object, any game object, but mostly we'll be attaching it to 3D objects like a cube, sphere, capsule, cylinder, plane, and pad. Rigid body will attach to this. Now we'll see collider. What is meant by collider? So if you see, 
sphere uh, we have created this sphere on in hierarchy window and already there was sphere collider you can see here okay now one by one you will see uh, first is edit collider so we can edit this collider uh, that is not that much important first is this is figure so if you uh, hover your mouse you can see here if enabled this collider is used for triggering events and is ignored by physics engine so if this is clicked so if it is clicked then this sphere can go to this plane and it can fall down below the plane also okay is trigger material is not that much important then uh, we can uh, if you see this sphere in scene view see here this uh, another uh, circles are drawn here around this game object so these circles are nothing but your uh, these values center and radius so how we can change we can change this uh, collider values like collider by changing this values like earlier by default it was 0.5 we will make it somewhat higher like that you can see we'll see step by step like that. what is the purpose of changing the radius and what is the purpose of changing the center so radius we can change uh, this is for collider component you are change the radius and then we can change the center also so we can make y equal to 1 so it will be moving upward see here you have changed the y value to 1 Y value to one, so that collider has moved up. So colliders are basically used for detecting collisions. Colliders are used to detect collisions. So how to detect collisions? So first we'll make this y equal to zero. Okay. Now see here we have to check. Uh, whether sphere has collided with this plane, when this sphere, when we play the game, when we play the game, and we have to detect when this sphere is colliding with this plane. Okay, so for that there is an inbuilt function that is library function. We we'll use have uh, that function. create one script uh, collision detection detection for example collision detection example okay we'll create this script and we have to attach this script we have to attach this script to the game object in not to any empty uh, game object but to a game object for which we will be detecting collision okay so there are two game objects here just to uh, there are two game objects sphere and plane there are two game objects sphere and plane so we can attach to this plane or sphere also if you attach to the sphere it will detect uh, by which or to which game object it is colliding means sphere will be the center of attraction and uh, if it is moving so it will be colliding to which uh, game object that we can detect and if you attach this collision detection example script to plane then uh, whatever game objects is colliding with plane that game object can detect okay so what we'll do we'll attach this collision detection ex uh, example script 
full sphere. How to attack that? You have to click on this collision detection example and add here. Okay. With the adding here. So we have selected this sphere game object. We have attached rigid body. We have attached sphere collider. And we have attached collision detection example sphere project. Okay. Now we'll double click this collision detection example script. So there are uh, P inbuilt library functions. That is one is on trigger enter, on trigger stay, and on trigger exit. There are three library functions that are called as callback functions. Callback functions. Like if something is happening in the Unity game, then it will provide the information to you, to the coder. It is called as callback function. This is uh, different, I think, just to one. Origin detection example is still open. So here we are detecting fear is colliding to which game object. So there are no game objects, only plane is there other than sphere. So we will detect that when will be this fear is colliding with plane. Ah, so that's from here. So we have attached this collision detection example script. Now see here. There is, this is callback function that is on trigger enter. If you click enter key, then this will come here. So to save this, on trigger enter, another function is on trigger stay. You see the every function and another function is on trigger exit. So mostly we'll be using, most of the gamers, uh, game coders use this on trigger enter. These two are not that much important. So you see this in detail. Now, game of uh, this is attached. This script is attached to sphere game object. You have seen this script collision detection example dot sphere is attached to sphere game object. Now, if sphere is moving in a game, this sphere is moving in a game, then to whatever it is colliding, to whatever game object it is colliding, that will be the uh, that will be uh, informed by this other other variable. And what is the data type of uh, other variable? This other name uh, variable. It is collider. It is little difficult, but see, we'll uh, go st uh, step by step. There is a function on trigger enter. This is nothing but callback function. It is callback function. Means if something is happening in game, so it will give the information to the coder. Now sphere is colliding with another game object. Sphere is colliding with another game object. 
so that will be detected by this on trigger enter so when when this sphere collides with the plane when this sphere collides with the plane so plane plane is nothing but uh, having some collider there see here plane is also having collider see here mesh collider is there if you click on plane there is mesh collider this is also one of the one type of the collider so here we are considering the sphere so so sphere is colliding with plane so colli uh, plane's collider is this other and that is nothing but mesh collider so how to detect the name of the game object uh, with which it is colliding so that can be you can get it if other dot game object other dot game object now see here other is collider data type is collider but uh, this collider is attached to which game object so that we can get it from other dot game object now that will give the reference to that plain game object okay but we want the name of that game object that we can get by another extension that is dot name dot name or directly you can print it here this is one of the method we comment this you can check if it is colliding with anything so we have to detect with which it is collided so we just keep up dot log here is collided with plus see here this is simple like uh, debug dot log here is collided with okay so we are just printing this text and now we want the name of the game object with which it is collided that we can get like other is there other is the with which it is colliding but it is a collider data type so here other dot game object dot name are you getting ma'am here so here uh, this collision detection example script is attached to uh, sphere this script is attached to sphere yes okay now sphere will be colliding with other game object so if it is colliding with other game object then this function will be called means automatically it is called Okay. okay, and when it is called, so other is the uh, variable with data type collider. But to which it is attached? This is nothing but component. Collider is nothing but component. But this component is attached to which game object? So that can be found by this. Uh, the uh, this particular statement that is other other dot game object dot name so that will give the name of that game object with which sphere is collided is collided so what should we get here plane plane isn't it name of the game object with it is, with which it is colliding it is plane so we should get sphere is collided with and colon and here we should get after colon plane we will see whether we get or not okay we we'll play here and whatever we uh, print in debug dot log we'll get it in console console window okay
will play here and when it stops there on the plane then it should detect the collision it is not giving any information that means somewhere we are wrong so check that Ah. See here, we are using on trigger enter. On trigger enter. So here, uh, if you are using on trigger enter, then we should click one of the uh, like uh, here. Ah. Trigger is there, na? Uh, here, this trigger is there. Yes. So we should click here. Because you are using on trigger enter, so you should use this list trigger here. So you click here. Okay, when it drops, see here. Now you have clicked the list trigger, so that's why when it is falling down from plane. Then it will fall down below plane also, and it is giving this sphere is collided with plane. Okay, so see here when this is sphere and we are uh, enabling or making click this is trigger. When this is is trigger is clicked, then it can pass through any ga game object. So, okay, uh, I told you earlier that thing. So if it is clicked, it can pass through any game object. So that's why it is pass through this game game object plane. Okay, so if you clear here, so you can see here again if you click plane. So when it passes to plane, at that time on trigger enter is called. So uh, it was about uh, rigid body and uh, collider. So rigid body is nothing but. It can give gravity mass to game object, and collider is used to detect collision. Okay, so rigid body we have already attached. Now we have attached this sphere collider, and we click the is trigger for detecting collision, and then. This function you have added on trigger enter. So this function will give if uh, information like it will be triggered this function when this sphere is colliding with any game object. And to which it is colliding, it will be colliding to other collider. Other means to whichever game object this collider is attached. To whichever game object this collider is attached, that we can get it from here. Other dot game object will give the game object reference, and dot name will give the name of that collider. Okay. Now, what is the difference between on trigger enter and on trigger stay? On trigger enter means when it just enters the collision. Now you can see. This sphere will be there, uh, cutting this plane for some amount of time, section of time. It will first this lower part will be touching here, isn't it? Like uh, outer surface surface will be click, uh, touching here. Then it will overlap with this plane. Sphere will overlap with this plane and will be there for some fraction of time. 
overlapping and then it will exit from this plane so there are three things one is when it is entering this plane another is when this sphere is staying in this plane that is overlapping with this plane and last thing is when it is exiting from that particular plane so we'll scan right here these three things uh sphere is entered to plane okay and we'll copy this and paste it is there here on trigger step we'll write it here sphere is staying to plane or on plane and last thing is on trigger exit here has exit exited from plane three things are there no first is it is entering the sphere uh, plane touching the plane then it is remaining in the plane for this amount of time and when it is exiting from plane so we'll see here how it is occurring so we should get only once that uh, sphere is entering the plane we should get only once that uh, comment that is sphere is entering the plane and we should get only once sphere is exiting the plane and uh, we should get some more than one uh, statements for sphere is staying on the plane because for, because overlapping is going on for fraction of, of, of amount of time we we'll see that is, whether it is happening So you can see here. Uh, I have stopped this, but you can see the console window. So here, first statement is here is the entered to plane. Second statement is here is staying on plane. Third is also say saying staying on plane. Fourth also, fifth also, sixth also, and then here has existed from plane. So like this, you can detect collision between two game objects. There is another concept that is on collision enter, but uh, that will take some more time. So we'll stick to these two points. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, these three functions: uh, on trigger enter, on trigger stay, on trigger exit. Ah, uh, if you want, you can uh, explore this on collision enter. On collision enter. If you get time, no, you can explore this on collision enter. It is similar to on trigger enter, but it has some different functionality. Okay. So today we have studied about this poly uh, collider and rigid body. So do you have any doubt, ma'am? No sir. Uh, uh, yesterday's uh, no, not yesterday. Saturday lecture. Do you have any doubt? No sir. Okay. So if you have to like uh, whatever you we coded on Saturday, did you implement that? No, my um, is I was just asking like whether uh, you are using uh, unity editor means for practice. Uh, are you doing practice on unity editor? Yes, sir. I do, but uh, uh, like uh, just I used to. Uh, so I just wanted to let me you know, like if you get any uh, uh, 
like uh, doubt or if you stuck anywhere na you can ask you can go like uh, resolve that issue by any days okay ah yes so i hope you have understood today's uh, discussion like a lecture and if you have any doubt na like you can implement that whatever you studied and if you have any doubt you can ask tomorrow yes okay yeah. so Thank if you, you want more description about this na you can go to this uh, whatever things you are studying you can go to this manual it's not whole manual because the whole manual is very long but whatever you are studying that you can go through this particular manual so what you have to do you have to click on on the component whatever you want to get the description you have to click on component the explain is there and if you want more description about this uh mesh renderer this is somewhat different thing but if you want more information about mesh renderer on right hand side there is help button open reference for mesh renderer you can click this and everything will come here without script also we can create grain and with the script also we can create grain right uh one minute no without script also we can create grain and with script also we can create grain without script uh no great what you told add it in git grain means no without that script no uh without going to the script uh, visual studio here sphere and uh, plane we collide and we did some game or game no ah huh. uh without going to the script also we can create the same thing with the help of this uh, sphere collider and ah uh, huh, yes but if you want to detect collision at that if you want to detect collision that time uh, you want the sphere collision hmm collision between plane and sphere so for that we want uh, script script will be there you, you have to study script in c sharp script c sharp you have to learn because without that you can't do game theory in the book okay ma'am if you have any doubt you can ask tomorrow okay okay yes sir